Hi all, Wind here. Um, Happy New Year guys. Um, apologies I haven't been posting um, in December. It's been a time of Christmas and, and it's been quite busy so uh, I've taken a, just a little bit of a, a time off from posting but um, I'm back with a new video and in today's video I wanted to show a very easy and simple way that we could essentially show which records uh, have attachments associated to them so i've been asked this quite a lot and there's no real easy way out of the box anyway to to showcase if a record has an attachment um and uh in this specific video we will showcase knowledge as an example but you can expand this to pretty much any record or any table that you want to kind of um find attachments for um so i'll give a i'll give a, a short use case as to, to why you possibly would want to do it so essentially um let's say you're looking to create knowledge articles um and um you're actually um, either moving uh knowledge articles from one instance to another because it's a a green uh field site so you don't have um the production set up yet for users to usually create knowledge articles in production that's normally the best way um, so you're essentially developing it and and getting all the knowledge article users to create it in dev and now you want to move it up but once you've moved it up um, you see that some images are broken or some images or attachments are missing so how do you correct that so um, using this method uh, you could be able to identify which records are uh, missing and essentially then just push them into an update set. Uh, if you've seen one of my um, uh, previous videos on how to move objects via update set, please take a look at that because it really showcases the, the best way to do it. Um, but um, you can move data in a way now. Update sets are not meant for data, or not meant for moving data, but you can do it um, if it helps in terms of um, uh, a swift implementation. So. In order to essentially show knowledge attachments for articles or any records, what we are going to look to do is to create a database view. So if you haven't uh, looked at or uh, created a database view before, there'll be a, a great showcase of that. Um, but just give a brief example of what it, what it is before we get into it. Essentially, we're creating a view of two tables, merging them together to showcase a kind of a temporary table of those records. So we can get fields from table A and table B and showcase it in one table. It's not actually physical table. It's more of a view of those two. So, so that's essentially uh, what we're looking to do. Um, in terms of structure, so in ServiceNow, attachments are actually stored in a separate table called sysattachment um, and then they have uh, sys id to the related table or record uh, which we'll be looking to use in order to essentially um, um, indicate which records we want so this is where our where clause comes in but we'll get into that in a moment so here's the example i've got today so we've got this uh, knowledge uh, article and you can see there's a uh, attachment that I've added as an example now I want to see all the knowledge articles that essentially have uh, attachments so I could see that as a report and understand um, if I was to compare that to a separate instance which ones I'm missing and so on and so forth so first things first um, I just want to showcase the knowledge table so as you can see here there's nothing out of the box that tells me that this particular article I've created first one does have an attachment attachment link is a boolean flag that essentially you could uh, tick on and off so it doesn't really tell me there's an attachment it's more of i want it to be a link of some sort um so what we're going to go and look to do is to create this database view so we could showcase this so i'm just going to go into database views Okay, and I'm going to create a new one. So there's a, a load of these that's out of the box. Let's create a new one. And this one I'm essentially just going to call, I'm going to prefix it with you because it's custom articles with attachments. Okay, so database view to showcase. Okay. 
so that's essentially the record itself and then we will just go and find it because uh, now we are going to add our um, our view conditions essentially so first things first right below what we're going to do is we're going to add two tables here so the first table will be the the KB knowledge table itself so the knowledge article okay and uh, we will just give it a prefix Now the prefix is essentially the indicator we will use uh, when we do the where clause so so we'll, we'll see that in a moment actually um, and let me just submit this now so we don't need a where clause here the next table is where we will add the where clause and the next table will be the sys attachment table so this is again where all the um, uh, attachments are uh, populated uh, or stored and for this we'll just give it a variable prefix of this attachment okay and then now this is where we do the where clause uh, let's also add this as 200 okay so the where clause here what we're going to essentially do is where the knowledge so that's the variable prefix of the, the first table so where the knowledge sys id again sys id is unique so we want to use sys id uh, because it's unique um, and the attachment store table store sys id so all i'm saying is uh, make sure to spell it right as well so all I'm saying here is the attachment um, table. So the attachment underscore table underscore sys ID. So get me, so where knowledge sys ID is equal to the attachment, um, the table field and the sys ID of that, of that field. So I'll just submit this and if we go to the, uh, Okay, so let's just call this attachment. Uh, yep, that should do it. Okay. Okay, so um, essentially this should show it. So let, let's try it and then, okay, great. So here we can see um, the knowledge articles of attachments and we've got our fields. Now, they're not necessarily great right now. So let's change that's on the field so first thing we're going to do actually is we'll, we'll create a report to showcase it so let me go into bar chart okay let's go to list Okay, it's not letting me create from that, so let, let me just, uh, let's create a new one from scratch. So we go to reports. Reports. Okay, let's try from here. Okay, there we go, let's create new. Um, the reason why I'm going to create a report is because from the list view, um, it's a little bit difficult to add uh, columns um, without uh, configuring it. So personalizing doesn't let you dot walk as much. So it's easier to do it in a report to, to essentially get everything we want. Um, and you'll see that in a moment. So um, see attachment, uh, sorry, knowledge, articles. attachments okay and then we're going to use table and then we're going to find our there we go knowledge articles with attachments table and then let's go to type let's give it list let's run okay and now let's choose the columns so essentially we kind of don't want any of these really the file name might help so we'll keep the file name content type will be good okay now 
And because it's a data view, we will have fields from both tables. So um, essentially, we can grab er anything we need from the knowledge table and or the um, attachment table. So what we'd probably want is maybe the KB number. So let me find number. So what number fine. Um, then um, let's maybe get the knowledge base in there. Okay. Um, and then we probably want the sys ID. So this is so as I said, we have the fields from both tables because this ID is stored in both. You can see that in brackets it tells you which table they are. So this you need to ensure you get this right. It's always best to kind of um, separate them so you know which uh, sys ID is which um, because it doesn't. Uh, showcase that well in the report and I'll show you in a moment so what I'll do is the knowledge society should come right next to the number that way I know and then when we have the file name we'll have this attachment society here but what I would do I will add content type there and uh, let's see if we could add anything else that we think might help so Okay, I'll also add the size bytes, and so we know the size bytes is the attachment, and then right after that is the, the attachment society. So um, if we click OK now, and uh, let's run this. Right, so now you can see uh, we have the KB number. Um, we can see uh, the KB that I was using as an example. We can see the file name. Um, the image, the size bytes, and then also the sys ID. So now this tells me all the knowledge articles that essentially have attachments. Um, now, um, what you would want to do once you let save this, um, so now you've got all of those, essentially what you could do is run this report in your sub products and essentially do a match on Excel to see if there are any missings, um, and then go to the knowledge uh, article table. Uh, find those sys IDs using the column there uh, to then export those and move them over. So I hope this helped to showcase and again you can do this with particularly any um, table. Uh, just going to make sure you get those, um, uh, just change the, the, the table names as well as the, uh, the where clauses. So where we had the where clauses, um, let's go back to the database view. Okay, so where we had this where clause, this is the only thing you would look to change is wherever the knowledge sys ID, you probably want to change that to say incident sys ID or change request, whichever table you're looking to do, and then to the attachment table underscore sys ID. Attachment uh, is the prefix and the table is the field and the sys ID is of that field. So that allows us to basically link those two together. I hope that's helped. Um, please let me know if uh, you have any questions on this. And um, uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Bye.